everyone. Today we're going to be making Kung Pao cauliflower. So as you can see, we have some really, really pretty cauliflowers from the farm. Although this one is orange and this one is purple, they both have the same flavor. Uh, I think I'm mostly going to use this orange one today. I just wanted to show you that they do come in different colors. Same flavor though. So Kung Pao is a stir fry dish that usually uses peppers, scallions, hot chili, garlic, and nuts. In my case, I'm going to be using cashews, although traditionally peanuts are used. I just really like a nice toasted cashew. The sauce is going to be a very simple sauce made with soy sauce, sesame oil, a little bit of agave syrup or honey, some ginger powder or fresh ginger root, sherry vinegar, and rice wine vinegar, which is a more aggressive vinegar than sherry vinegar. I will also be serving this with steamed rice, which I have working over on the pot. Uh, to begin, we'll start with breaking down our cauliflower. So I like to just snap these outer leaves off. And you can see there's the base right here. So you can kind of cut in at an angle. And then it'll just kind of break off. For the cauliflower, we're gonna break it off into florets. So I like to cut it right in half. And you can see the core right here. I like to trim around the core. And as you trim, the florets will kind of fall off. For our purposes, we're going to want kind of bite-sized pieces, so about this size. This one I'll break down and cut in half. For this cauliflower, we're going to first sear it in a hot pan, cool it down, then marinate it. In a pan, we're just going to get it ripping hot, a little bit of oil, and we're going to basically sear it and cool it down. While I'm waiting for my pan to get hot, I'm going to go ahead and cut up some of my stir fry vegetables. So I like a lot of scallions, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these into some nice little batons. I will set them in a bowl right here. Then for our peppers, I'm going to cut the tips off, slice it in half down the middle, remove the little bit of seeds. And then we're going to want bite-sized pieces, so I'm going to take both of these peppers and I'm going to slice right here. And we're going to cut them into little squares. A little bit of oil. You can see it's starting to smoke. That's how you know that your pan is getting hot enough. You can see the oil is really shimmery. Go ahead. If you don't hear a loud sizzle when you're doing this step, your pan is not hot enough yet. As you can see, I'm getting some nice color on this cauliflower. We want to get some nice dark brown on all the sides. almost ready at this point where we can now cool it and marinate it. Well, now that our cauliflower is cooling in the refrigerator, we're going to whisk together our marinade for the cauliflower, which is two tablespoons of sherry vinegar one teaspoon soy sauce, and two teaspoons of cornstarch. Just whisk it all together. We'll set that to the side. 
Next, we're going to assemble our sauce, which will be added to our stir fry after everything has been cooked. Need one tablespoon rice wine vinegar. One tablespoon of sesame oil. One tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of agave syrup, honey, or brown sugar. I'm going to use one teaspoon of ginger powder. If you are using fresh ginger root, I would do about a tablespoon. And then last but not least, this ingredient is a little bit unusual compared to most other recipes you might find online, but it is gochujang paste, which is basically fermented chilies and garlic. It's gonna, it's like a secret ingredient that's gonna add a lot of flavor. So that's, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of this gochujang paste. And then we'll just give that a little whisk, just like this. As you can see, it's kind of a thick sauce. We're going to add it to our stir fried cauliflower and peppers and it'll thicken in the pan and kind of glaze everything. So we have our marinade and our sauce. Now our cauliflower isn't very hot. You can see that it's mostly cooked, but still has some crunch to it. And pour over our marinade. Give it a little bit of a stir. And it'll look like this. This doesn't need to marinate too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a big pan hot and ready for our stir frying. In of that, I'm going to slice one hot chili, slice it thin. If you like less spicy, you can leave it out altogether. We're also going to need a few cloves of fresh garlic. I'm going to use two for this stir fry. So the best way to deal with fresh garlic is to smack it with the heel of your knife and the palm, heel of your hand. And this just kind of breaks apart the skin and makes it basically fall out of the skin and you barely have to peel it. And this, we don't want to mince up super fine. We want more slices. So just go and slice it nice and thin because you'll want some bigger chunks of garlic in your stir fry. We have our cauliflower, we have our peppers, our scallions, our hot chilies, our garlic, and our cashews. I'm gonna use, for this size cauliflower, I'm probably gonna use about a cup of nuts. Our pan, just to help show you guys how much oil to use. One, two, three, four tablespoons of oil. We're gonna take our peppers. There you have it, my version of Kung Pao cauliflower. So now to 
serve it. I have some steamed white rice. some fresh scallions on top, and some sesame seeds. And there you have it, enough Kung Pao cauliflower to feed you or your family with leftovers. One head of cauliflower, two peppers, perfect meal, super healthy and delicious.